Hey yeah, folks, so just a quickie for me tonight. Uh, I want to talk about something that I've been working on uh, for a few years at this point now. Uh, I've actually been working on this project for longer than I have in my YouTube channel, so forgive me, I haven't filmed most of it. Um, but at this point, I, I guess I just want to share my notes, uh, collaborate with you guys, and um, I don't know, maybe maybe we can work together and, and, and make it work. So a little bit of background. Um, I did this IPS mod in this Game Boy Color a um, while ago at this point. Uh, this is that funny playing kit. Uh, you'll notice that I had the red membranes in here in the clear shell, and I understandably got a lot of questions about that. Uh, this is that project that I've been working on. I had some mild success with this. Um, well, actually, I say they're red, but really they look more orange. Um, but they're supposed to be red. Uh, so what it is, is uh, I found a way to dye the original silicone membranes in these things. Um, let me get, that's not it. Oh well. Uh, anyway, like a month after I star started, a month after I started working on this project, uh, Retromodding ended up announcing their um, custom colored silicone like start and select buttons here and they're fantastic I I love them it just you know it really took the steam out of my sails working on this project uh, and then I stumbled across uh, this and I was able to get these membranes dyed and then retro 6 came out with theirs and yeah it's just been it's one thing after another um, but I will say my OEM membranes feel significantly better than these aftermarket colored membranes. So I'm super okay with that. But what it is, let me share my my secret recipe here. So what it is, I have two different pill bottles, basically, um, that I have, and they're wet because I was just going through them and rinsing them off. Uh, in here I have mixed up some red hair dye, and that's how I got my orange. Uh, red hair dye mixed with some mineral spirits. Um, the mineral spirits I kind of stumbled on by accident. I found out that it, uh, it, it soaks into the silicone membranes and opens up the pores. It basically makes them bigger. Uh, so if we take a look at one of the start and select buttons that I just pulled out of my other batch and compare it to OEM start and select, you might notice that it's a little bit bigger. Maybe we can focus on that, huh? Ooh, that over. So yeah, a little bit bigger. Um, unfortunately, that's kind of par for the course at this point. There's no real workaround, but I've found that if you just give them time, they'll shrink back to the original size. All the mineral spirits will... Uh, um, come out I guess and that's why oops after I built this original Game Boy and then took it apart the PCB itself was stained because some of the material was working its way out of the silicone um, but notice I mean I'm, I'm handling it I'm not getting it any on my fingers this was from when I stuck my finger in the jar uh, but as I'm handling this and squeezing it I'm not getting any on my fingers uh, so you know just leave them to dry and it should be good uh, but without the mineral spirits this is the kind of thing I was getting you know significant improvement I tried dyeing some AGS membranes too that didn't go so well but I mean I, I, I got a partial success on that but yeah it, it just comes down to I mixed in the mineral spirits and you know you got to really give it a really got to shake it up and I can't give you proportions because I've you I've tried three different brands so far and every single brand required different proportions to get it to work um, so here's what I've got now and yeah you can see it's starting to go back to its original size that's why it's bowed in why are you not auto focusing let's turn that back on there we go uh, so you can see this one's starting to shrink. It's only been out of the goo for 10, 20 minutes at this point. But yeah, 
hair dye, mineral spirits, and then I found something that helps. Uh, you, you can leave these to soak for days, months, weeks, years, uh, but what helps is if you add heat. So I've tried, uh, you know, after I accidentally melted my Game Boy Pocket, I said, oh, hey, let me leave these in my truck and see what happens. And then suddenly I have color. So these purple ones are actually from this blue dye I have here. And you can see how much more liquid this stuff is. Uh, even though this is the exact same brand as this stuff, you can see it just coated the inside and it's, I mean, trust me, it, it is liquid in there, but it's just so much more viscous. So that's what I mean. Every brand, every color requires different proportions and it's just a matter of, of uh, you know, feeling it out and seeing what you got. If you're, if you want to give this a shot and you're using these pill bottles, do keep in mind that they are not watertight. So keep them in a plastic bag, keep them upright. Both, not one or the other, both. Hair dye is designed to stain things, so don't be surprised when it does stain something. Um, but yeah, I kind of wish I had some some better uh, progress after working on this for two freaking years, but I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. But it's good for stuff like this. Like this is an OEM membrane and it's kind of yellowed near the top. I don't know if it's just dirty or something, but you throw this in the dye, it'll, it'll take a dye nicely. Uh, I have some other ones here that I have dyed. Um, where is it? There it is. So this is one that I dyed a while ago. Exact same dye. I don't know why they're different colors. Um, I think this is an aftermarket membrane. Uh, oh, but this one looks aftermarket too. Okay, I guess they're both aftermarket. Um, I've tried dyeing with black hair dye and I got this like dark brownish gray color. Uh, let's see what else I got. Oh, this is the same thing, but it wasn't in nearly as long. Um, I bought a whole bunch of these white ones hoping that they'd take dye, but I don't think they do. Actually, these might be the white ones. Heat was the trick to get the white ones to take the dye. Yeah, I think the rest of the ones in here, aside from these grays, I all purchased. Oh wait, no, this one I dyed. Yeah, this is an OEM one that I dyed. Uh, took the color really well, took the black. I think this was L'Oreal brand. But yeah, I don't know. Just hoping we could share notes. Unfortunately, I still don't know what to do about stuff like this. Uh, probably just throw it out. I don't think it's good once it's ripped anymore. But these things, save these, they're perfect for dyeing because they still feel fine. They're just ugly. You wouldn't want to put these in a build. But you dye them black, they'll fit with anything. Um, let me see what else I have. And then, yeah, there's all these pink buttons from the time I tried that I dye poly. Uh, and then these, these are, these are the same thing. Uh, but like I said, I didn't have the mixture quite figured out when I tried making these. So they didn't take the color as well. But yeah, that, I don't know. This is, this is my call to arms, I guess. Um, if you guys experiment with it and you find something that works, you know, repeatable, let me know because these results aren't repeatable. I, I tried. Like I said, I got that first red one, this one, and I tried making more and I couldn't get any more that, to take the color this well. Um, I got lucky on the Game Boy Color one. That's when I found out about the mineral spirits. And then 
I just got these now from Heat and Mineral Spirits. But anyway, I'm sorry, I'm rambling now. I'll go ahead and cut this off here. I will go ahead and post in the description uh, an Imager album that I had been compiling to document this pro project. Um, but otherwise, that's all I got. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic night.